Today, we're going to go through considerations for selecting the correct hydraulic Garmin Autopilot for your vessel. This video is going to cover the hydraulic options we have for autopilots, and what pieces of information that are needed for proper selection. First, one of the more important pieces of information is the total volume of the steering cylinder in cubic inches. The steering cylinder is the piece of equipment that actually moves the rudder or motor to steer the boat. The volume of a steering cylinder can typically be found on the steering cylinder's manufacturer's ID tag. This can then be researched for total volume of the cylinder in cubic inches. If there are multiple cylinders, you will want to add the volume of all of the cylinders together to find the total volume. This is the number we will use to choose the appropriately sized pump. Once we have determined cylinder size, we next need to determine the pressure and volume specifications of the steering system. You can have a high pressure low volume system or a low pressure high volume system. With a high pressure low volume system, the steering system itself works at a higher pressure which requires less fluid to move the steering cylinder. On a low pressure high volume system, more fluid is used to move the steering cylinder. This information can be found by speaking to the manufacturer of the helm and steering cylinder. Next, we need to determine if we have a balanced or unbalanced steering system. The easiest way to determine this is by looking at your cylinder. If the ram comes out of both sides of a single cylinder, it is balanced. If it only comes out of one side, then it is unbalanced. If you have dual cylinders, an unbalanced system will have the rams coming out of the cylinders the same way. A balanced system will have the rams pointing to each other. If you have problems determining what kind of system you have, reach out to the manufacturer of the steering system or find a dealer near you using the link in the description. With these considerations in mind, we can now go through the potential options that we have for hydraulic autopilot systems. By far the easiest and best option is the Smart Pump V2 system. This covers both balanced and unbalanced systems with a total cubic inch capacity up to 24 cubic inches and can be used with both high pressure low volume and low pressure high volume systems. It can be used in air pressurized systems up to 40 psi and is recommended for high use, rough water, and low speed applications. The full system for this pump is called the Reactor 40 Hydraulic Core Pack with Smart Pump V2. Our next option is the Reactor 40 Hydraulic Core Pack with either a 1.2 liter pump or a 2.0 liter pump. Each pump can handle different situations. The 1.2 liter pump is designed for a single cylinder application with a total steering cylinder size from 6 cubic inches up to 14 cubic inches. It will only work on a high pressure, low volume style system and can't be used in an air pressurized system over 11 psi. It is often used in Mercury Verado and Uflex Pro steering systems. The other option is the 2.0 liter pump. This pump is a low pressure, high volume pump and will not work in a high pressure system, such as a Mercury Verado or Uflex Pro system. It is not able to be used in an air pressurized system over 11 psi and works with dual cylinder setups with a max steering cylinder volume of 10 cubic inches up to 24 cubic inches. Our last autopilot option is our 1.0 liter compact hydraulic system. This pump has very selective use and is very rarely recommended for most installations. This pump is designed for use only in cruising applications with minimal adjustments. It is not recommended for any fishing or anything that requires low speed control like trolling or rough water conditions. It is used in a single cylinder application with a steering cylinder volume limit of 10 cubic inches and can only be used on a boat with a single engine under 150 horsepower and less than 25 feet in overall length. It also cannot be used in air pressurized systems or high pressure systems such as Mercury Verado or Uflex Pro systems. That covers the basics of our hydraulic autopilot options. For more help, visit marinesupport.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.